today on In the Wood Yard, I've got a pile of wood. I think you know what's gonna happen. Let's get busy. So I've got a little pile of wood here. This is all the wood that I cut with my brother Eric this spring. And it's been cut, split, and laying here in a pile now for months. And uh, it needs to get stacked. It's the last pile that I have remaining from all the wood that I had processed through the winter. And uh, I've got pallets underneath right here that I'm gonna start stacking right here and I'm gonna go that direction. And I just happened to find these two stakes right here that were laying in this pile kind of off to the corner here. And I thought, well, I've got them, might as well use them. So I pounded them in here. I got a short one and a long one, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use it for the end. And I'm just gonna go that direction and that direction. I get two rows in with these stakes and I think I've got four or five more stakes. If I look around, I think I can find them. Now I've only got about three hours. Right now it's about 2.30. In the afternoon, I'm done with all my other work for the day, and I'm gonna come out here and work as long as I can. But normally that would be till about 8, 8.30 when it gets dark. But I looked at the radar, and it's very hot, very humid, and uh, on the radar in the future forecast, about 5.30, the sky is supposed to open up, and uh, cats and dogs and horses and cows are gonna fall. Big, huge wall of uh, big red nastiness is coming our way, so. Uh, I think I got about at least two hours, maybe three. So I'm gonna see how much I can get done. Cause I got time, I feel sassy, I've got energy, and uh, it's time to get some stuff done. So we're gonna get stacking right now. So I just went for a little walk and some of my other piles I had over there. I knew I had a few more, so I found another one that uh, I'll be able to put in. It's not a real long one, and then this one's even shorter. But I got a couple more of these tea sticks that I can put in over here and uh, use them for the ends and just go that direction. Or I can use these on the far end when I get over there, but there they are. So that'll give me a good start anyway. So we're gonna get stacking. So we just got done with, oh, like 24 hours of rain yesterday we had. We got about three inches and uh, we really don't need any more rain because everything's all saturated and wet and soggy and uh, the creek is super high yet. and. Uh, the ground is still wet. We really haven't had much for sun. It, it came out just a little bit today. Right now it's out a little bit, but the clouds are starting to get darker and, and bigger and uh, rain is coming. So we really don't need the rain, but not much you can do about it. You know how it is. You get sometimes what you don't want. Sometimes you get more of it <laughs> like today. So I'm going to get this stacked right here. We're going to get going on it. Um, so yeah, some of this wood, when I cut it, because it was dead standing wood, was uh was pretty dry actually when uh when we were uh cutting this because because it was dead standing some of the tops that we cut were uh you know stuff like this size that when you cut it it was dry already and this one looks pretty dry it's starting to decay even starting to get in that the punky outer outer layer a little bit and uh so yeah some of this will be dry i would say if i had to guess percentage wise um, there's probably 10% of it that's going to be pretty dry in here, but I won't know now anymore because it got rained on. It's been sitting here and luckily this gets sun most of the day and uh, it's, so it's starting to get dry. There's chunks in here, so I'm just going to chuck those over towards the cookie bin, which is right over that way. So this will be kind of nice. The other thing that's nice is because I'm so close to the edge of the woods here that if I get debris and crap, I can just throw it off the back here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to stack away and make a big wall here and i haven't decided yet if i'm going to measure it you know to where it's four feet and then put a pallet i haven't decided how, if i'm going to do that or not we'll find out as we go but uh this is the last of the piles that i need to get done for this summer and uh then this wood i'm thinking is not going to be dry for this this coming winter it's this wood will probably be sold next summer because um, it'll be a little more than a year old, year old then by the time we get there. I still sell a lot of oak in the summertime, so this will be next year's summertime wood for people that want to burn the good stuff for their campfire. Some people like oak for campfires, so that's probably what this stuff is going to end up being. So we're going to speed things up a little bit here. I'm going to put my foot on the accelerator right now.
So I've been stacking for a little while now and I got two rows done. And when I was stacking, I assumed, and you know what happens when you assume, I assumed from where I had the pallet down there to the end of this pallet that it was eight feet. So I stacked it four feet high, went the length. It's actually nine feet, I just measured it. So it's gonna have to, it's have to take some off, refigure it when I sell this, cause it's gonna be an odd, odd size roll. So I'm almost thinking what I might do is just go as high as I can reach and just make it an odd size roll, go in that direction. So that's what I might do here. But I got two rows done. I uh, did a crisscross on the end here. You can see I got two rows there and then the next pallet is there. I'm just gonna keep, keep going. And I knew this, but I'm gonna take, take, give you a show of these gloves here. This is my right hand. I'm definitely right-handed because there's holes in that glove and this glove is hardly even worn. So I definitely use my right hand more than my left hand. So I've had these gloves now, I don't know, maybe less than two weeks that I've been using them. So I just kind of wore them out and they're all, all wet because everything is wet here. So I went and I got a brand new pair. These are uh, bodyguard gloves. I got these as a gift, so they're pretty good. They're nice and flexible and soft, but they don't hold up really well to firewood. But then again, as you guys know, nothing holds up um, two hardest things on gloves is brick or cement work where you're constantly lifting bricks or blocks and then you're sliding your hand as you as you release same thing with the wood it just grinds it down you're just constantly wearing on the leather but it's better than having it wear in your hand so yeah this is kind of a mess in here this will be nice once i eventually get all this debris and all these chunks cleaned up and get this all cleaned up in here so but yeah, I got it. I got it so back to here, so I'm gonna keep it back away. So when I come around the corner, so I bring my trailer from here all the way around, and I go into these rows to get at stuff. Plus, in the winter, I want to be able to plow through here, go over that direction, then plow through here, and then go all the way back there. So I'm trying to open it up so that um, it's easier to maneuver in here um, than it has been in the past. In the past, I've had this narrow. I've had wood stacked way out farther here, so I could barely make the corner. So I'm gonna keep it back just a little bit. So we're gonna get back to stacking right now. Okay, here's what happened. So I measured on the far side over there. You can see this row back here is higher than this row. So what I did is I measured it so that uh, the nine feet, and I went like six and a half feet high. So if I do both the rows, this height, those two rows will be a full cord. So that'll work out. I just got to do a little bit of math. And then the next rows, we'll see what happens. I just pounded in this stake. I don't know if you can see it over here. There's another little stake here. And I'm gonna do as much as I can. I'm just gonna start stacking. But I just heard some booming going on and uh, it's getting really dark to the west. So it might not last much longer. I'll do as much as I can until it starts to rain. And then I'm gonna run like a small child into the, uh, the safety of a vehicle or my building because uh, I'm not a fan of lightning. Rain is no big deal, I don't care if I get wet, but lightning's a whole nother thing. Um, it's one of the most dangerous things in nature. A lot of people think, oh, you know, it's other stuff. Lightning's not a good thing. So I'm gonna get stacking right now. I got another face cord done or third of a cord. It's getting really dark really fast and it's booming. I mean, big time booming to the, uh, oh, and here it comes. The rain is here right now. So it's supposed to rain a bunch. I'm heading in. Hopefully uh, I get in before I drown. And uh, I got a little story to tell you when I get inside. A little story about lightning one time when my son and I Almost died. Wow, it's coming down now. Nice. I guess I'm gonna get wet. I gotta run. And my truck windows are open. So, 
and I have to get those rolled up quick like a bunny. Throw stuff in here. I did not think it would hit this fast. I thought I had time yet. Whoo! Rolling the windows up right now. Nice and cool, it feels good because it was hotter than the blazes out there today. There. So we should turn some lights on. Maybe you can see something on it. Anyway. Okay, I'm in my truck. I try to catch my breath. So yeah, it's raining. And it's supposed to continue raining and thunder and lightning and all that good stuff for another two, three hours because big storm's coming. It's here right now. So here's the story. One time my son and I were fishing. We were out in uh, Lake Namakagan, for those of you that know northern Wisconsin. We were in a canoe paddling and we went out in the morning and fished, I don't know, two, three hours, something like that. And uh, they said that there could be some pop-up showers. We thought, oh, well, no big deal. You know, if you're on a lake, you can see them coming. Well, we were out about a mile out, out quite a ways, farther than we should have been. And all of a sudden we could see just a big dark cloud coming fast. And all the boats just started flying past us going back to the resort we were at. So we started paddling like maniacs. And he was probably at the time, I don't think he was more than, boy, maybe eight, nine, something like that, pretty young. So I had him up front and I was just screaming at him, paddle! <laughs> so we paddled just, just as fast as we could. And there was lightning hitting the water around us. I mean, it was, you could see it. You would see the flash and boom at the same time, like within, you know, a couple hundred yards of us, behind us, next to us, in front of us. And we were paddling right into it because we had to head back to shore. And we only made it about halfway. And I decided to take a left to get to the closest land that we could get to and so we paddled up into there and a lady that had a cottage there saw us coming and and she met us with an umbrella down by her little beach area there and she said i was so worried about you guys i thought for sure you were gonna die and i said so did i <laughs> my son was pretty scared too his eyes were just really big so by the time we got back um to shore it was only like 10 15 minutes by the time we got there and again, lightning was hitting all around us. We probably had a good inch of water in the canoe. It was raining that hard and we were just soaked. So she had us come up into her cottage and we just stood underneath her little eaves she had there and out of the rain. They had like a lower level deck that went into their cottage and we just stood in the lower level there and it, the storm went over and it was gone. And so, it was, it was, it was, I was, I was actually afraid. I was very afraid and I usually don't, nothing bothers me too much, but when you see lightning actually hitting the water around you, whoo, not a good thing. So anyway, it's starting to rain even harder now. I think that's it for today, folks. I think we're done. <laughs> I'm done anyway. I'm gonna go home and take a shower. I'm soaking wet on the inside, the outside. So tomorrow I'm gonna be back in the wood yard. You should come on back, it'll be fun. Between now and then, get outside, get cotton. You know what to do. Poke some buttons, it'll be fun. And tomorrow, I'll be back. Thanks, everyone.